Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. This is the second to last of 2019. It's crazy, right? <laughs> anyway, here we are. It's the Friday before Christmas. It's been a very busy week for me. Stella is finishing up school and she's going to be off for the next two weeks. And um, I'm actually looking forward to having her home with me. Um, I'm sure by the end of that two weeks, I'll be ready to send her back to school, but right now I'm kind of missing my girl during the day and it'll be really nice for us to have the couple weeks coming up. We're looking forward to doing things like going to the movies. Uh, she used to love Frozen when she was a little girl. She just was so into like Elsa and Anna and then she kind of outgrew that, but as most of the parents are aware, Frozen 2 came out and I really want to take her to go see that to just kind of reminisce about, you know, how she used to love Frozen when she was like two and three years old and um, yeah, and just going and walking around the mall, eating pretzels together, um, going to the playground, her usual faves. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited and looking forward to that and also having work slow down. Super excited about that. <laughs> I only have a couple orders going out on Monday, and after that, um, just a couple the beginning of the following week, and then I'm, I'm done for a few weeks, so I'm excited. <laughs> I'm ready. I have things to share with you guys today. Um, the There's lots of skincare, there's hair, there's makeup, all the good things. Um, I'm going to get started with something that I ordered off of Octoly. If you are new to my channel, Octoly is a platform where um, influencers can go and apply to different brands to be able to review products. So the brand will send out the product for free and um, you're allowed to give your honest opinion on it. Um, as soon as I saw this, I actually had a certain person in mind for this um, as a gift for them, which I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Um, but I just I just knew my sister-in-law would love this and I really liked the whole idea behind this company. So this is a um, it is a body care set from the company Mademoiselle Provence. So here is the little set here. Um, what I really liked about them is um, they're actually, it's a woman owned company. They're, the products are made in France. They're actually fairly affordable. I believe the price point is between $12.99 and I think $35 at the most. And that would be for a set like this, but they also have individual products available. Um, the products are cruelty free. They're even vegan. Um, and they just, from what I read about them, I just thought they were a great new company. They're newer. I believe they started back in May of last year. And um, yeah, so I was excited to get this and take a look and kind of sniff the products out. I technically haven't used them yet because I do intend on gifting this one. Um, but uh, I think what I may do is order another one of these because guess what? They're on Amazon, <laughs> which I also thought was kind of great. Craig and I just got into buying, really buying like a, a decent amount of stuff on Amazon this year. Like we finally got Amazon Prime because it was worth it at this point. Um, so uh, yeah, these products are readily available on Amazon and I like that. So the set that I ordered um, and it comes in this really cute little box. So it tells you, you know, that the products are cruelty free, that they're made in France, um, that they're vegan, all that good stuff. So in this particular set comes there, and the packaging is beautiful on these, the um, Almond and Orange Blossom Nourishing uh, Body Lotion. So it's a really good size. The packaging is gorgeous. This is 13.5 fluid ounces. I did use a little bit of this because I just like lifted it up and got some out to use as like a hand cream. Oh, you guys, this smells so good. It smells like almond and orange blossom. That There's no better way to describe this. Um, it has that floral of the orange blossom that mix so, mixes so beautifully with that almost gourmand almond note. This is really beautifully done. There is also a really nice hand cream that comes in this. And 
Again, I just think this is such a great gift. If you're still hunting for a few Christmas gifts, I would take a look at the, they have this different fragrances as well. Um, so here's the hand cream, comes in this really nice packaging. It's just, it's beautiful. And it's the same fragrance as the um, body lotion. Also in here is just a packet of one of their um, other lotions. This I think I'm gonna keep for myself and actually use. It is their Rose and Peony scent. This is the other one that I was curious about. I'm thinking about getting the Rose and the Peony for my mother-in-law. So I need to try this out probably tomorrow morning and see if, uh, if I think she would like this scent because I think something like this is perfect for my mother-in-law as well. And it all comes in this really cute little bag that you can stick it in. So I'll be sticking everything in here and then um, gifting that to my sister-in-law. Her birthday is... Uh, the 22nd we're actually having a party for her on this tomorrow tomorrow. Oh my god. It's tomorrow um, So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that to her and um, Order the rose and peony for my mother-in-law because I think she's really gonna like this as well So um, but yeah, this is just a this was really nice just when I snagged a little bit as like a hand cream for myself um, soaked in very nicely, wasn't greasy, didn't feel gross on the skin. There are a lot of body lotions out there that just don't really feel good on the skin. This is not one of those. It's fantastic. So anyway, I, I, I really want to keep it for myself to be totally honest because it smells so good, but I can always order one for myself. Like I said, the price point is very fair and, um, yeah, I just think my sister-in-law is really going to like that. Okay. Let's, uh, so a big thank you to Mademoiselle Provence for sending this out for consideration. Definitely two thumbs up for sure. All right, let's do hair and then we'll do skin and then makeup. Uh, my two favorites from this week were the AG Hair Care Big Wig Root Volumizer. This is so nice, you guys. Um, I picked this up when there was a sale on AG Hair Care. I can't remember what the sale was. It was like 20 or 30% off or something like that. But I really like this a lot. Um, normally, I don't like these root sprays. Um, I prefer more of a mousse type formula for my roots. But this is really, really nice. And it applies um, very easily. It doesn't make my hair sticky. There's a lot of root lifting products that can make your hair a lot more sticky and just kind of crunchy and gross feeling. But my hair still is like, it's really soft, even at the roots. So nice. Um, and then also the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Finishing Spray. This is flexible hold, maximum volume. Um, I believe that, I think this is still going on, but um, I'll link this down below at Ulta because I just partook in another buy two, get one free sale at Ulta for Paul Mitchell products. I just got three more of my <laughs> favorite cans of mousse, which is the mousse that comes from this Extra Body line. I'll link that down below as well. Love it. I've repurchased that so many times now. Um, but I believe it's any like two Paul Mitchell products and then you get a third one free. If you've never tried this um, hairspray, it's really good. The mist isn't, it's not the most fine, but it just, it does such a good job of like adding oomph where you need it but your hair is still easy to brush through. It doesn't get, again, crunchy and gross. I'm really, I love volumizing products, but I'm also really picky about volumizing products because there's so many that just leave your hair feeling disgusting and dry. Um, neither of these do, and I highly recommend them, if, especially if you have hair like mine, which is baby hairs. I mean, like all 10 strands. I really try hard to... <laughs> make it look like I maybe have 30 strands of hair. My hair is so fine, so thin. All right, I started using some new products this week from Dr. Dennis Gross that you will see an in-depth video on, I believe next Thursday, so the day after Christmas. It's not a sponsored video, but Dr. Dennis Gross did reach out and ask me if I wanted to try these and give you guys some thoughts. So the video that I do next week is mostly going to be talking about the ingredients, how these products are supposed to work, how they have been working for me for the last couple of weeks, because I did just get these, um, I want to say it was two weeks ago, week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, as soon as I got them, I started incorporating them, but 
I am going to do one of my usual in-depth skincare reviews on this line after I've been using it for about eight weeks. So you'll see a more in-depth review in the new year. But this is a new line from them that is all about stress proofing your skin. So they sent this kind of neat little card here that gives information. So basically, um, the three products that they sent were the Stress Repair Face Cream, which is a great nighttime moisturizer for face and neck, by the way. I've been using these products all over this area here. They also sent their super, uh, not super stress, uh, their Stress Rescue Super Serum. There we go. I've been using this every single morning. So this at night, this in the morning. Again, face and neck. And then they also sent um, the Stress SOS Eye Cream, which is really, really nice. Again, it's this jar or matte packaging, which I don't love, but there is the eye cream, um, the texture on the face cream. Wow, you can see I'm really digging in there. <laughs> Just This feels really good on the skin. These products do have a scent to them, a fragrance, but it's not offensive and it doesn't stick around. Um, we'll talk more about the ingredients next week. But basically, the point of this particular system is to help address the signs of stress that can show on your skin. Um, a lot of people, when they are really stressed out, it does show in your skin. You can, uh, Your skin can just look a lot more dry or irritated. A lot of people break out when they are really stressed out. Um, there's just a multitude of things that just can affect the way that your skin looks. So the ingredients in here are meant to combat the, um, the signs of stress on your face, basically. So the three kind of main ingredients that um, are stressed, pardon the pun, in this particular system are niacinamide, which you guys know that I love, and really the main reason why I said yes when they sent me the information was because I saw that niacinamide was really featured prominently in the ingredient list here. Niacinamide has been a huge game changer for me. Um, it really has helped to shrink the look of my pores and done some other great things for my skin, but so the niacinamide in here is meant to improve the lipid barrier function to retain moisture. It supplies energy to help repair fine lines and wrinkles and reduces redness and breakouts and refines the look of your pores amazingly well. Um, there's also 14 different types of superfoods in here. So antioxidant rich ingredients with powers beyond their pure nutritional value to help um, heal and repair the skin. And there's also 11 adaptogens in here. So super herbs that are able to adapt to extreme environmental conditions um, and the specific needs of the individual. So um, they show a picture of a person here with what I think is some pretty bad rosacea and some major textural issues. I was really impressed with the before and after here. Um, there's a big difference in her skin after just one week. Um, like I said, I've only been using this for the last week and a half. And um, so far, I'm really liking what it's doing for my skin. And um, I will definitely be, we're gonna go into more detail here next week, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been using that, especially this week and loving it. Um, Let's talk about some makeup. Uh, the Jouer Blush Palette in Coquette is what I've been reaching for mostly this week. Um, this is really nice because I like to mix these two together. Um, this kind of nice light pink and this mauve, they just are a beautiful combination together. So, um, and they're matte, which I really like. If you've never tried these Jouer Blush Palettes, they're really nice. Um, I kind of, I still want to try a couple more, so it's on my list to get them next year um, for my lips this week I have been using either these two together like I am today or I've just been using this by itself this is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk lip gloss um, you guys know that I love the pillow talk uh, matte lipstick as well as the superstar or super shine one that she has I do want to point out how little this is. Um, let's see, which uh, I feel like a lot of people know what the Buxom lip glosses are. Look how small this is. Oh, 
is tiny. It's really small. Um, however, I love the color so much I splurged on this. This was $22. I picked it up at Sephora. I got um, some stuff actually for Craig at Sephora. And I had my 75 off of, uh, not 75 off of, I, I had to spend $75 to get $25 off. So I needed to spend just a little bit more and I have had my eye on this. So I went ahead and picked this up. Um, I really do like it. The formula is lovely, very smooth, very creamy very pigmented for a lip gloss. It pairs nicely with all of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk products um, and also really nicely with this Hourglass. Um, nude number six, this is one of those, um, this is from the Femme Nude, but they're like the girl stylos that they have. Anyway, this is a really nice mauve. I've probably shown this multiple times on my channel before, but I always find myself reaching for this because th these are really nicely pigmented um, and they just wear so beautifully on the lips and I like the shape of the bullet a lot. It's kind of like a skinnier style, but yeah, it's tiny, tiny, but really beautiful. If you've, um, been curious about it, it's really nice. And my Sephora is carrying a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury stuff now, so you might be able to see it in store, test it out, but I'll link it down below at Sephora. So anyway, these two have been a great combination this week, but this just by itself also really lovely. And let's talk about eyeshadow. So yesterday you will have seen a tutorial, this look right here, uh, using the Lorac uh, Pro 4. This is, um, this is a great palette, you guys. You people out there are the ones that finally talked me into picking this up, and I'm really glad that I did. It's a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Um, I have some other Lorac palettes that probably have very similar shades. But I just really do appreciate the layout of this one, and um, I do still really like Lorac eyeshadows. Um, they're not an all-time favorite like they used to be back before I discovered like the Marc Jacobs and the Vizier eyeshadows, but um, still really, really good. And um, I think, I want to say that Ulta is still doing this promotion. They were having a sale on all of their eyeshadow palettes, so maybe this is still on sale, or maybe you have a 20% off coupon. I know I did until I used it. <laughs> you will be seeing a haul. If it comes before the end of the year, I will, um, oh, Craig, I'm gonna have to call you back. Um, I'll definitely uh, try to get that up before the end of the year if it's if it's coming before then, but who knows. Anyway, um, this is a great palette if you like this eye look. I'll link the video down below. Normally my tutorials don't get a lot of views, which is why I don't typically do them, but um, some of you ask very frequently. <laughs> Or tutorials so I did one hopefully it was helpful um, but yeah that's what I have for you guys this week not a ton of things but um, yeah I've got some uh, work to do and a husband to call back so um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you in the next one take care bye